In the last vlog, I don't think I included enough footage to properly show just how bad the Huddersfield Canal really is. It's not that it doesn't hold its water, but also the sheer volume of rubbish and obstacles in it that can seriously damage your boat. I've since spoken with boaters who've travelled up and down the canal in the weeks before I did and since. Pretty much everyone said the same. Too shallow, got stuck, called the CRT for help, and blimey, it's hard work. I had really wanted to tick this canal, and particularly the three and a half mile standage tunnel off my bucket list. But as a solo boater, I just felt it was too hard and the pleasure would be taken out of the journey. So I turned around. At the very least, the first few miles should be closed while it's sorted out properly, because at the moment, it's like a poor relative that's being ignored. Well, I've got through one lock, lock seven, and then come to a grinding halt. The CRT are here, working hard, or hardly working. Not sure what they're doing exactly. <laughs> I don't think they do either. <laughs> but uh, a more senior CRT man said, if I hold tight for a few hours, I might be able to get through tonight, all being well. Say hello then, boys. At least we can have a little boogie. Thoroughly bored. Thoroughly bored by it all. You may recognise that erection. We've been past this before. Weirdly, Directly opposite, in that building there, the grey one, is a company called the STD Group. Hmm. I suppose it would be a group, really. Well, there's slightly more water in this uh, pound, long, long, long pound, than coming up. Don't say it. I'm not going to tempt fate. Never, ever, ever have I been so happy to see a lock. Lock number one W.
it means all being well, touch wood, fingers crossed, we're nearly done with this canal. <laughs>